Well, first, they looked at the performance of their TM1 model and those subcomponents based on the volatility of individual stocks. Right. They set up these market neutral portfolios. The idea there is to try and isolate the strategy specific signal, hedging out the general market ups and downs. Makes sense. Long the best, short the worst based on the model. Pretty much. Top 10% long, bottom 10% short, rebalanced every day. And they focused on reasonably liquid stocks market cap over $100 million, decent volume, price over $4. Okay, so standard practice for this kind of analysis. And what did they find looking at stock level volatility? Well, it was interesting. All four components did somewhat better when they focused only on the most volatile stocks. Ah, so that supports the initial idea. A little, yeah. But the overall TM1 model, the combination of everything, actually performed best when they included all the stocks, high and low volatility ones. So maybe the model works best by finding opportunities across the board, not just in the really choppy names. That seems to be the implication. So then they pivoted. They started looking at market-wide volatility, specifically how it changed over time. Using the VIX. Exactly. They grouped the trading days based on the VIX level from the previous day. Five groups from lowest VIX to highest VIX. Right. And this is where it gets really interesting, I gather. It does. They found a pretty clear trend for the overall TM1 strategy. Which was? Higher VIX yesterday meant stronger returns today. It was almost monotonic, a consistent upward climb in performance as you went from low VIX to high VIX environments.